All right, it's about, doesn't really matter, it's about, it's around 1 a.m. Central Standard Time. Um, where do we start? <laughs> we start where we finish. <laughs> and then we finish where we start. <laughs> Anyways, y'all. I got some information. I have a lot of information. A lot. Um, hopefully I don't remove this video. Where do we start? First of all, it doesn't matter what time I said it is. Time is just a tool to keep track, like writing on a notebook. But it's just a tool. It's not actually real. Like how an atom is real. But then again, if we're going to use that logic, then nothing is real. But if nothing is real, then everything is real. Right? So, everything has two sides to it. And I mean everything. Black, white, up, down, happy, sad, yin, yang, morning, night, mm, just whatever, you, I mean, you can go all day with it. Good, bad, right? And everything always reaches a point and it goes back to the point and then it's a circle. The circle of life. The, uh, yeah, for instance, hot and cold. No one can tell you when hot turns to cold or when it turns, you know, cold turns back to hot again. Right? Right? Now, for instance, if you, man, there's so many ways we can go with this. I'm just trying to give you all a little bit of the details. Now, I, I speak on what I know. I don't I don't speak on what I think, right? Because thinking comes from not knowing, right? Now, man, there's so many places we can go with this. I'm just trying to give y'all the... I'm just trying to give everyone a sleep, some knowledge to wake up, right? Now, what do I mean by sleep? You can say... <laughs> there you go again the opposite someone who's not woke right asleep at the wheel but, but let jesus take the wheel yeah yeshua take the wheel right but no i want y'all to wake up a little bit right everything <laughs> is the same right everything okay if you go up enough you're eventually gonna go down till you go back up you take three rights, you made a left, okay? It just, everything is in sync, baby. You cannot have good without bad because, like I said, two sides of the same coin, right? So if you're going to use this logic, which is all facts, I only speak on what I know. I don't speak on what I think, and I know. <laughs> Whew. Now, <sighs> So many things to tell you guys in a short period of time. Let me get back to that, though. But, for instance, if we're going to say everything's the same thing, mind you, an atom, right? Every single thing that you're looking at, look, this, my little treats here, these little pretzels, right? Break it down small enough, you got it atoms right now these glasses here even these eyeballs right water right my flesh it's all atoms right you feel me I mean everything comes from imagination okay even on this earth 
we put plants and we breed plants together. We breed fruits together. Imagination, okay? Anything that you, an invention, anything you can think of, okay? You got glass, how'd you get glass? You took rocks and you melted that sand until it was boiling hot and then you, you, it got cold again and you had glass, right? Until it came back to uh, cold or hot, whatever, right? So use these tools to make new things, but every single thing that you're looking at in technology has always been there because we've always had everything that's been here, we've always had it, right? So it starts with imagination in the mind, right? And imagination plus feeling is where everything came from, right? Because if I decided one day, man, I'm really thinking about making a sandwich, right? You go down there and you make the sandwich and then you eat the sandwich, right? But listen though, it all started in your mind. These thoughts have weight to them, right? So listen to this. Like I said, so much things I gotta say in so little time, right? <coughs> <laughs> like I said, the time is made up. So every single thing that ever existed in history is happening right now, right? So, like I said, back to that circle. Everything's on that circle, right? So you got to look at time as, as like, okay, man, everything, okay, people say the same things. And they're saying they argue about it, but they're saying the same thing. You might have a religious person say, oh, man, God created the the earth and everything. So they're going to argue with the scientists. No, nah, man, it can't be right about your Big Bang Theory. Well, they're saying the exact same thing, I promise you. Because at one point in time, this energy was singular, Right. And that's what you can call, like I said, everyone's saying the same thing in different ways. That's what you might call God. You might call the universe. You might call the atmosphere. You might call whatever, a gas, a star, whatever. It started as one. And manifestation of wanting to experience. Boom. Now that's all the little, the little dots of whatever you want to call it, God, the universe, atmosphere. Well, it doesn't matter what you call it. It's the same scenario. So boom, now those people shouldn't be arguing, right? Now, we have these tools, or some may even call them drugs. Some may call them psychedelics, whatever. Everything is a tool, right? Everything is just going on an experience of the consciousness, right? It even says in your Bible, it uh, says right there, any religious books that uh, you treat your neighbor the way you want to be treated. You know why? Because you are your neighbor. It's just people haven't opened up to realize what these things are saying. Okay? So if I walk around right now, like I say, I've, I'm not religious. I don't follow one because religions are dividing and conquering, right? Even though we're all one. So if I walk in the store right now and I tell everyone I'm God, they're going to say, oh, wow, this guy's crazy. What's why he's saying he's God? Why would somebody say that? But if you go look in the Bible, it will say, you know, treat your neighbor like you want to be treated. We are all the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. That's what Jesus said. But he, you know, guys manipulated his words and put him on a pedestal and worshipped him like he did not want to be worshipped. He just sent some simple information and he said that we are all God. Okay? At the same time, we are still unique to ourselves, but it's an illusion, okay, on the earth experiment, Right? And of course, certain people wanted to use this book and change some words around and use it to, you know, we have books back then, how to make a slave, a Christian, all these things. And people have twisted things for the ego, right? That's where this ego comes in, where people want to have power and they want to, it's all a messed up illusion. Because listen, if you pull up in the Lamborghini, right? But every other guy in the whole world has a Lamborghini. Now that guy's like, well, fuck this Lamborghini. It's not about the Lamborghini. It's about the ego. 
Same when it comes to the diamonds. We lock all these diamonds away and put value on them because dudes want to walk up. I got a $500,000 chain on, okay? But if every other dude had it, he wouldn't want that, want it no more. It's always about the ego. But that's where it's got everyone confused. The most power you can have is knowledge, okay? Knowledge is the power. Soak up the knowledge. Remember, life is a game. Remember that. It's a game. Like I said, everything is the same thing. You go and you want to freaking, you want to paint something, you got to use those colors, okay? You want to convey a, a story, I'm putting my words together, it's colors. You want to go make a delicious meal, it's all colors. I'm blending the flavors together, okay, baby? You feel me? So what I'm really trying to let everyone know is just wake up, okay? Stop dealing with the illusion. There is no death, okay? There's no such thing as dying, okay? Look, the body, straight vehicle, baby. Straight vehicle, baby. Now, depression, come on now. Are you serious? Like I said, you cannot be living your life like this anymore. You got to wake up. You got to smell that coffee, right? Smell those beans and wake up and say, you know what? This guy's really talking to me. This guy's making sense because guess what? We're the same person, I promise you. Now you might be scared and to realize that everything is connected. Everything and everyone, uni God, right? Uni God. Now I promise you, these people, these people that want this power, man, they got you sitting there scrolling on that Facebook all day. They got you sitting there going to that bar. They got you sitting there, listen, not thinking about nothing for yourself. Silence this stuff down. Turn that music down a little bit, right? Turn that Netflix off a little bit. Turn that Facebook down a little bit and just sit there. We got to get back to this meditation, right? Right? Get quiet a little bit. You know, so many people are saying the same thing and thinking that th that they're right and they're right when everyone is right at the same time. Okay? We can all be right. It doesn't have to be an argument. It doesn't have to be a disagreement. People can be right saying the same things. I promise you this. This is really true. Okay? You, you just got to open up your mind. Okay? And that all the answers that you're looking for is right there. Everything that you're looking for is right here. Just get quiet sometimes at night, okay? Let the thoughts flow freely, and you will realize that everything that you ever wanted to know, you already know about it, okay? So everyone is connected. You're never without the people that you so-called uh, think have died or passed away. You are with them forever, because like I told you, it's all on a loop, Everything that ever happened is happening right now. There is no time. I promise you that. And the death is a major illusion. It's an illusion, okay? Now, you're in this 3D world. In this 3D world, they got you thinking that's what it is. You hear about the scientists say 11 dimensions, right? Well, they're right here in your consciousness, okay? You got to open up your mind and level up to 5D consciousness, okay? Treat everyone with respect, love, and and that's all that you need, I promise you. Because if I walk down the street and I see someone on the corner that is that is homeless, or I see a guy pull up in the Bentley truck, I know that they are the same. I am God, you are God, you got to open up your mind, we are one. So when you hurt someone, you're only hurting yourself. You are only hurting yourself, and you got to stop. You got to stop the nonsense, okay? Yes, no more judging. Are you serious? We walk around judging people? What? Do you guys, how long can we do this for? Okay, how long can we do this for? We can keep doing it. Or you can wake up and you can really realize, like, wait a minute. All the stuff that I thought mattered is just an illusion. All the stuff that you thought mattered arguing, you're stuck in duality. You're arguing with your mom. You're arguing with your neighbor. You're arguing with your wife, your husband, your daughter, your son, your friends. That's not fair. Why would you argue with these people? Why are you so worried about making a point? 
Why are you so worried about what the news is telling you, right? Why are you so worried about negativity, right? Why are you worried about these things? You cannot keep living your life like this. And sooner, sooner, sooner you get there, the sooner we can all get there. Okay, and you can wake up and you can say, oh, so easy to just let things come natural, right? Just let things come natural. You open the morning, open up the window, you know, to hear the birds chirping. Okay, it's all in sync and it's beautiful. And when you start to respect everything for what it is, your life will be beautiful. Okay, stop, stop letting these people and these entities in this darkness overcome you okay you're not depressed you're not you're not depressed you're not suicidal okay and if you did if you are suicidal you gotta stop it because it's all an illusion you cannot kill yourself you are a light being that goes on forever and a day and like i said stop wasting thinking about these negativities of yesterday, because yesterday ain't coming back to yesterday. And tomorrow, tomorrow may never come. All you have is right now in this moment. That's all you ever have. So if you start worrying about tomorrow and what could happen to you tomorrow and what they might say or do to you tomorrow, in this moment, you ruin in this moment. You start thinking about, oh man, what happened to me yesterday and what they said to me yesterday, that's done. You ruin in this moment, okay? So I need you to wake up. I need you to smell that coffee, okay? And I need you to look around and say, you know what? This is beautiful. I'm happy to be alive because, I mean, shit. Do you understand? This shit is lit. Oh my goodness, we're in the most historical time right now. Everything is awesome. Everything is interesting. Man, it's just going to be in the history books. What? Man, this shit is so lit. I mean, you just got to wake up and see it for what it is, baby. Life is a movie. When you go to the movie, you don't say, oh, man, this part of the movie is sad. Oh, this part of the movie is scary. This part of the movie is boring. Nah, the whole movie is lit. Like Kanye said, man, the whole movie is lit. Life is like a movie. Every moment is lit, okay? And mind you, your favorite movie, you're going to watch it again, right? Okay, so life is a movie. You did it plenty of times, but you like it, okay? Level up, though. Level up. No more disrespecting yourself. No more disrespecting people that have only ever showed you kindness. And don't stoop down to people's level. What? Someone is being disrespectful or hurting thy neighbor. Man, I don't even care if they disrespect you. You don't stoop down to their level because we're all one of the unique God consciousness, okay? And we could go on all day, man, and all night, but you just got to understand that everything that I'm telling you, you got within yourself, okay? It's right here. It's right there. You got it, man. You got it, young lady. You got it. Sister, you got it, bro. You got it. I promise you, you got it. If I got it, you got it. We got it. It's all the connected. Because as soon as I look at you and I say, you, you're going to say, who, me? Yeah, you. <laughs> so just level up, baby. It's beautiful. Even the parts that you thought was so bad, man, is beautiful. Imagine if you was walking around in La La Land with no sad moments, no no scary moments, no bad time, right, 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 it's, no, it's all good, it's all good, baby, I swear, it's all good, it all meshes together, okay, so just learn to live in the moment and enjoy it and soak it up, okay, just, oh, you got powers, you got superpowers, man, yes, you do, yes, you do, Think of a number between 1 and 10, hold it in your head. Okay. Yeah. I bet it was 7. And if it wasn't 7, I bet you thought of 7 and you should have said 7 because 7 is a great number. But look, at the end of the day, you go to bed and you wake up and it's a new day, right? 
every time, right? Every time, okay? You go to bed and you go off to the dream world. That's the whole, that's lit too. Everything is everything, man. Everything is everything, okay? You get drunk enough, you're going to want to be sober. And if you get sober enough, you might want to take a drink. And if you get problems with anything, you get too deep into it, then you might go straight to sobriety, okay? But you do too much, then you do too little. Have, find a happy medium with everything, okay? Don't do too much. Don't do too little, okay? Don't be all up in your girl ear all day, but don't ignore her. Don't become a party animal, but have a little fun, right? Okay? Don't be a workaholic, but make sure that you get to work, get the job done. Okay? Don't be mad if someone wants to call it praying or someone wants to call it manifestation or someone wants to call it speaking it to existence, right? It's all the same. Okay? Don't be stuck in duality arguing with your neighbor because they may not be at your level. Okay, let them get there. It's the same energy. cannot be destroyed or created that's been here forever. So when you say someone's an old soul, they're not saying that they soul been around longer than you. They're just saying that they got more information because the knowledge is power, baby. And soak it up and don't ever stop soaking it up. And don't ever stop smiling. You look at you, you got a beautiful smile. You got a beautiful charisma. You got a beautiful swag about you. So wake up and do this. Do your shit, man. No one telling you to do anything that you wasn't meant to do. You was meant to shine. Look at you. You light. You feel me? Shine, baby. Keep shining. Why would you ever stop shining? You shine bright like a... Uh -huh. Shine bright like a diamond, like on that Rihanna, okay? And this is real, real talk. This is real, real talk. Shine on. Shine. Okay? Spread that love real talk, though. You got to spread it. You got to spread it like peanut butter and jelly. Spread it like nice cheeks, okay? Spread it. Love.